Anyways, um, falling with that uh, interference, but looks like we're back to this match. Let's see how this goes. Little wait. Um, Boa. Let's see how this goes. Omega using every hurtbox shift of Joker to his advantage. They're using the hurtbox shift of the back air to outspace Colas. And Ooh, Bear almost gets the edge guard, but looks like our sends offline. Missed the sour spot. Good DI from Omega. Ooh. Omega definitely wanted to hit the other way, but still maintains his advantage. Really good stuff from Omega. Let's see what's going to come out from this. Oh, I really like that spacing of that bear. You know, doing a falling bear, so if it hits, he gets the kill, and if it misses, he doesn't get punished. Both these things are just scrambling it out. And Roy, with that broken side, uh, broken up B, you know, has that super armor. Great for scramble situations, just like that. Cole using it at the perfect opportune moment. Waiting for Omega to get a little too comfortable mashing around Koa. But, ooh, finally gets that, um, that meter charged up. Gets just enough meter where if he gets the stock off right now, He's going to be in a very, very good position with almost a full Arsene. But, ooh, Cola, if he has something to say about it, trying to take away this Arsene. And, ooh. Omega still has 75% Arsene. This is honestly very scary for Cola. But doing a great job at keeping his movement ambiguous. Ooh, Omega definitely read that spot dodge, but we're seeing shades of that last game. Cole, uh, Omega using that down B at a disadvantage, that counter, to kind of just catch you whenever... You know, whenever they're trying to be a little aggressive. But let's see if Omega can get this advantage. Jumps over the grab. Let's see this. There we go. Dare. Two stocks to one. Uh, wow, these, um, these counters are coming in so clutch for Omega. You see, it's actually really interesting because... You think, like, General, you want to mash on Joker because he doesn't have the best hitboxes. But Omega using that. Oh, yeah. But Omega using that to his greatest advantage to um, to make sure the counter goes away. Let's see, one stock to one. Omega can, get, can definitely take this... See. Really good back air. Good option coverage, but ooh, just barely drops drifts it, uh, drops his advantage. Cool, all right. He sees that Omega wants to drop down to continue pressuring him. George throws out that up air, and there he goes. Another up air takes it. Really good stuff from Cola. Taking game one. Not an option. All right. I'm interested to see where things go now. I don't know if the Sephiroth is going to come in play here. I feel like Sephiroth is kind of scary versus uh, Roy, but, you know, if this goes to a 2-0 Game 3, I could definitely see the Sephiroth coming out again. Three, two, one, go! Let's see how things are going. Omega, you know, he's just doing such a good job at just anti-approaching uh, Roy with that, sh that Nair. Let's see. Oh, that really cheeky reversal. Omega taking it. Really good stuff from him. Honestly, that was so weird. I didn't even know that would hit. But Omega's just running away with this lead. Grab. You know, Joker's won one thing at 0%, and it is disgusting. And that is his grab. All right. And there you go. Another anti approach. This time, baiting out the fair. Cole is going to need to mix up his approaches a little more if he wants to get in. Let's see if he... Omega in a really bad spot, but 
Shield comes with the up smash. Omega is honestly playing so hot right now. We might be seeing a reset here. And if we're seeing a reset here, that means I am not going to sleep early tonight. But that is okay because these are such hot sets. Really liking, honestly, peak gameplay from both of these players. All right, I've rested my vocal cords, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hop back on. Uh, so far, you know, Omega is starting to get some momentum. This game is pretty pretty hot. He's playing pretty hot in general tonight. You know, it's like on and off a little in bit. In general, he beat Teaser. Yeah, he made his record two and thirteen, baby. Wait, we always gotta start somewhere. And sometimes that somewhere is one and No, I know. That means he's playing super hot, but that was Sephiroth. We do have to, like, he's starting to get the gears turning on Joker again, but the characters are so fundamentally different. But it's also kind of funny. He, he's throwing out moves to Sephiroth, like, all the time with the standard. Which, and it is, it's funny you were talking about the difference, and at first I thought that too, but what the common thread between these two characters is how well he uses the counter. He has yeah. gotten so many counters off in disadvantage, and they're being so clutch. All right, let's see. There. Oh, and uh, up smash out of shield. Yeah, yeah, caught his toes, brought him up to the top of the blade. Throw him off the top, and Omega is going to have to wait for our 10 here. But he still, you know, he still has his fair one stuff, which is, you know, that's, that's what he loves to do. And I don't know. Uh -oh. Omega's definitely playing a little antsy. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, jab, jab F smash type beat, or down tilt type beat. Uh oh. There oh. it is. Ooh, that could be 50 once beat. again. You see, it well, always goes away on that, though, because it is really scary to roll out. Oh, these down tilts are so scary. That move is so busted. Honestly. Oh my yeah, god. It's gonna be an off stage Omega with no R send, but it doesn't really matter at this percent. Any Nair one conversion, very fair one. Oh, that's gonna be. Uh, there with the almost comeback. Kill. But uh, Bo is playing really hot right now. Oh, barely misses the electro, but so many things. Composure and. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. And Cola up 2-0. Did you see that? Yeah. He uses, he used his side beat as a burst option. I don't yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You make Cola's it sound like that's that, normal. At, like major. Yeah, I see him do it. He, he jumps in your face. He's like, all right, what you up to? You, you dashing? Are you, are you anywhere on the screen? All right, pulling out Fox and Grand. Honestly, even even an O2 or wouldn't have the balls to do that. But... I've been low key. I, I, I... Three, it's just so that Gimmer can one, make the title of the go. video Fox versus Roy. I appreciate it. Hey, if you're gonna go out, go out and on bang. And uh, Fox definitely one hit and he explodes in a bang. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, so Fox. this matchup is actually a little difficult for Fox. For Fox, I can imagine, you know, so, the, the edge guarding. Well, the, the, the edge guarding's a big thing. Um, a lot of the Fox stuff, you, you've already seen it happen twice. Fox stuff is a little fake. Um, so when you get one Rebels guard, like off of like a safe option, like up tilt, like the most that Fox is gonna punish your Rebels guard is like a charged F smash for like something that isn't gonna be that huge. So the risk reward on Rebels guard gets a little wide. I see. So you, you, you end up with a Joker that has a lot of R set versus a character that is lighter than Kirby. Oh yes. I you mean, know? playing playing Fox, playing Fox versus Arsene is like playing is like super extra expert Dark Souls hard mode. Okay. See this. Let's see how things go. But, uh, no, Cola is doing. Cola losing that first stop. I'm not sure if Fox is the wisest option, but, you know, he knows better than me. Maybe he was just doing it for Gimmer. That would be very funny if it was literally just for the thumbnail. <laughs> like I said, character is lighter than Kirby, and you get Arsene more often in this matchup. Also, Joker has a pretty solid disjoint. His combos actually work pretty solidly on Fox. It, it's a little rough. Ooh, really nice wave. See, you know that Omega really likes going for that counter and disadvantage. 
and you know, Ola definitely being very perceptive of it, taking it. Oh my God! Another counter. He's just calling out these counters so well. Honestly, really good adaptation from Ola. Fox. Honestly, Fox looking like Mithra out here with how many hitboxes he's throwing. Yeah, oh my God. the Polish Fox is playing pretty hot. This is exactly what you want to do versus Joker. Do you want to like do the weak and out? Do you want to throw in a lot of hitboxes? Because your moves are so much faster than Joker's, and you can get to Joker so much faster than Joker can get to you. You did, you're being wary of this back here. Ooh, back here. that's going to be off stage. Four backers in the last 10 seconds. Yeah. And, oh, I said he was gonna, oh, he did end up going for up air. I don't know, I feel like, at this point, like, I feel like Omega's not even scared of all these back airs he's throwing out. Omega's doing such a good job, is not being scared, realizing that he has the lead. So at the end of the day, he has more control over the situation, but really cheeky back air from Fox. Really good stuff from Ola. But this might be the end, yeah, this is the end. Okay, do one. He's running it back. It looks like we're running it back to PS2. Um, really interesting stuff. I'm not sure if we're gonna see the the box again. I'm not sure if that's the best idea, but uh, I don't know. He knows better than me. Maybe he just wants to be real. Oh, it looks like he's going Cloud. Oh no, Cloud, jo Roy. I miss her. All right, yeah, Cole is definitely not playing around because. You know, you give Omega an inch and he takes it a mile. It's just, it's, yeah. And like I said, it's not super easy unless you practice the matchup a lot. Whereas, you know, Cole has played Roy versus Joker like eight trillion times versus Raz, you know? And versus Omega and versus Kalen. Hey, don't disrespect Mugen here, right? We got Mugen, we got Spike. We got, uh, we got Dust, all these premier Roys, but this is like the final boss Roy. That's true. I was actually, I was talking to uh, Dust, and we were, we were saying how the ideal bracket would be like Spike into Dust, into Mugen, into Cola, with money marks somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that'd be fun. The Roy Gauntlet. I'd love to see that at a side event as 404. But anyways, jeez. That, that was crazy, honestly. Just having the awareness to just... Because I feel like, at least for me, like, once I go for a parry, I'm usually not ready for parries at, like, ledge. And I feel like a lot of players don't really take the time to lab out, like, optimal punishes on parries. And they instead just go for the safe options. But Cola, knowing exactly that down smash would be the perfect option there. I'm pretty sure also that, uh, like... That jab might not have connected the, the sweet spot there. So really good stuff from Koa. You know, just extending his lead. You know, just playing that signature Joker, uh, not Joker, that signature Roy gameplay that we know very well. Okay. Up. And honestly, what do you even do as Omega? Like, things are just looking so rough for him. He can't get out of the corner. And even once he plays neutral, he just feels like he's getting bullied. Always on top of him. Let's see what happens. And... All right. Omega's gonna need to make something happen, but things are not looking too good for him. Showing signs of life. Is it stock? Not quite. And, uh, this is honestly looking super rough. Omega, he's gonna need to make something happen if he wants things to go well for him. But Cola is feeling himself. And you do not want to play Cola when he's feeling himself. You know, definitely one of them famous for his momentum. But Omega's trying to snatch a little bit of that momentum. Showing a few signs of life, 101 to 0. Honestly, things are looking very... Not looking too good for him, but... You know, our send's coming up, and... You know, that changes a lot. If you notice, Omega was playing very aggressive there. Because he wants to be an advantage once Arsene comes around. So, he wants to get... 
he wants to get Koa off stage as soon as possible. But Koa, just holding onto center for dear life, he does not want to get kicked out. He wants to make sure that he is the one that's cornering Omega when he's in the And you know what? Oh, never mind. Joke still in play. Koa's going to want to get the kill here. He is spazzing out in his chair as he really wants this so badly. Because once you give, ooh, things are looking really scary. This might go to a game five. Oh, barely misses the punish on the ledger. And there you go. Dash attack. Omega with that comeback. We are running it back. Game five. This is honestly insane. All right. We're going PS2. I don't know if my brain can handle another best of five versus these two juggernauts. It's it's a little intense already. I, you know, we've got a headache out here. <laughs> Honestly, I love it. I love this game so yeah, much. I love I love them both. I love these people. I love this. I love this community, and I love this game. But you know, <laughs> Joker really loves that grab. As surprising, he didn't grab there. You know, maybe going for a weird mix-up with the dash attack, but. Here you go, that grab. Gets out with the... See, whip punish. There you go, another... Oh my god. This Omega just... Using those, like... Just make those callouts and disadvantage when it counts getting that Joker's Rebel's Guard. He's used Rebel's Guard better than any other Joker of team. Even, like, someone like Leo. Like, he's just... Using Rebel's Guard at the perfect moment to always get those, uh... Get those early R send. But uh you know, early R send and uh it is gone, but it does not matter. He is saying you do I do not need R send to take your stock. Because I am here. Now Cola definitely fishing for that kill a little too hard. I don't know if that's the wise option, you know. Another up smash, but with grab, both these players are flubbing. They know that a lot is on the line right now. And neither of them want to be the ones losing tonight. Now, everything is here. You know, shout outs to Greg for picking appropriate music to kind of set the stage for this grand finals. Really good stuff. Honestly, I'm having a great time here. I hope you guys are too. Let's see. I see Omega. What is Omega going to do here? Oh, super deceptive. Goes for the fake out into another fake out. Honestly, this is so good. Such play. Omega is playing so hot right now. On, he's going to be... He is going to be... He's on the verge of two stocking. A top 10 player in the world. You know, not many people can say that. Let's see. Oh, another cheeky reversal. Omega just doing such a... Huge art and that up is so risky. But... Uh-oh. More conversion. He just needs to get past this Arsene. Oh. And there you go. Omega with that reset. We are going to a game six. Hope you guys can handle this <laughs> like I can. I don't know. I am on the verge of being burst out of excitement. Oh, whoever gambled against Omega... It's having a very bad time right now. I'm actually very excited to see how this uh, second set goes. Alright, let's see how things go here. Ooh, Omega with that getting gimped there. Hola! Oh, it's just going. He is saying, okay, I am going for these double jump up bears, and you can do nothing about it. And that is exactly what happens. Especially abusing the fact that um, Joker does not really have the best um, reversal options that aren't countered when Omega firing back. Cole is shaking his head. He is not too happy about that. And that is honestly understandable. The fact that his up he got caught there is kind of, kind of strange. Let's see what we're gonna have here. 91 to 27. Okay. Oh my god. Omega with these callouts. I've never seen him play this confident. Even going for F smashes, 
an advantage when it's not even for kill. He is playing out of his mind right now. And Cola, I don't know, man. His lead is slipping. It doesn't seem like he's doing too good right now. Okay. Omega. Let's see what Omega has here. Ooh, good. Good on mix up from Cola. And there you go, take the stock. Cola's still maintaining his lead. Oh, misses. Accidentally crosses himself up, but gets another percent. He is so good at doing that. Honestly, every he's hit almost all of them. He probably has like at least a 50% hit rate on those. And there we go. Even stock, but Big Blue Man is here, but Big Blue Man is gone. Never mind. That honestly went from like slightly Omega winning to Cola now has a pretty solid lead. If I am a Omega here, my goal is to just push Cola off state and just keep him there, right? Make sure that he does not get back to center. It's gonna be a quick jab back here. Uh, going for the ledge trap here, but Omega's able to get the stage control on that huge. Cause like, oh my God. Oh, no, Omega, 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 Omega. Oh my God, Omega. I, I told you, like literally, you just get, the off stage game makes a total difference. And now Cola has the stage control. The side B to come back. Cola's been getting caught out by that side B so frequently. Omega's able to catch just the slightest impatience. And Cola's not even throwing out F codes or anything. Honestly, Omega looking like Omega Road though. I've never seen Cola mash this little. Low key. And that Are you dead? It. That's a little toxic. Oh, there that, you go. That's a little toxic. But at the know. same time, it was good because <laughs> right, if Cola he expected um Omega to go for the F throw, and if he DI'd out on the F throw, he would have put himself into a horrible position. Basically a free gimp there. So, oh, yeah. so Omega, basically a 50-50 there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Omega was also playing incredibly, incredibly patient where he like basically stands there until he realized that Cola is like dashing or is gonna get hit by side. Like that's his like total opening to just get back to center stage. Oh. Omega Oh my god. And I wanna also mention Omega SD that game. Yeah. Yeah, Omega SD that game. Straight up. But I think the key thing in this game that has been so good is those cheeky reversals. Whether it be the back air, whether it be the um, the down tilt there, whether it be the the rebels guard, or whether it be that um, tetracon. All these moves, just making sure that Cola can't hold his advantage. And there we go. Things are looking really good. Well, Omega, but quick ooh. jab back air. You know you're below triple digit. Win condition. Safe. That's the win condition. You That's just get that and you win, baby. And I, I do want to remind the viewers that it is a lot harder to avoid that than it seems, right? Because you jump and you get nared, right? So you feel like when you do everything besides neutral getup, you feel like there's no way to get out. And the one time when you neutral getup, you know, Cole has got a jab right for you. But right now it's Cole's game, right? He, he, oh, just as I was like, he has it back in his pocket. Cole, uh, Omega gets that back there on the stray. Um, this is still Cola's game. He's still holding advantage. Of He's sitting very pretty. Um, there are another oh, cheeky backer. What was I saying? Dang, three bank that station out here. It's those reversals, and honestly, I I could not tell you when they're coming. He's being so ambiguous with them that like they're just so good. And so cheeky. There, that time baiting out with the going off stage, but instead drifting back on. But does not matter. Still maintains its advantage. 65 to 0. When's the last time you saw Cola miss an up tilt? Uh, I mean, he doesn't really use up tilt that much. Exactly. He only does it when he knows it's going to hit you. There. Back into the down tilt corner situation where you just keep out, keep out, keep out. Uh oh. And just gets back to safe control the quick side beat burst. And Omega is our senseless. For a and oh my god, Omega's in a really bad position right now. He's gonna need to make something work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. The up smash that has been whiffing for last time. He finally hits it. 1-1. One, one. Look at these two distinguished players. Yo, shout outs to Greg once again, putting a great soundtrack for us for this amazing grand final. Yeah, the people can't hear it though. I don't think. 
It's the it's the one song where they go like dream on. It's called Dream On. I don't know. Yeah, it's super copyright. Yeah. I actually am really hoping y'all can't hear it. <laughs> Otherwise, I will be in big trouble. Um. Oh. Also, losing the initial scramble. Uh, taking about oh my god, sixty percent now. Fifty. Fifty-three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Fifty-four. Oh, and yeah, that's that's another SD. No, no. That's like the that's the second SD. The jumpless. The forty-six jump. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Anyways, back to the set. Omega shaking his head. He's gonna need to recollect and redefine his gameplay if he wants to take this. I mean, he made it work once. I can see him making it work again. Let's see this. And beautiful patience by Omega, but Cola is able to just barely make it back. I mean, when a Joker, like, you see all how when Omega up smash there, right? When a Joker goes for an up smash, they are very confident. But you know, Cola to staying cool and Cola is just air dodging right through it. Just really good stuff. Have you noticed, like, in the tech situations, oh, Cola always covers the roll in because it's. It's always really scary to roll out. What he does is he always turns the roll in to condition you. And then right when it matters, he covers the roll out. Yeah, I was about to say this feels like a three stock after the edge guard, but oh my god. Right. Cole is playing. No, he's playing like Cole. He's playing like Cole. I mean, I know we're talking like this is, you know, we're talking like this is even because, you know, this is pretty back and forth. But at the end of the day, you know, this is a top 10 player in the world. You know. We don't care about Orion rank here. <laughs> Cole is top 10. We're in Georgia. In Georgia, he's top 10. That's all, that's all that matters. Yeah, he's top 10. He come is on, top come 10. Come on, now. come on. Now. Three, uh, two, one, go. But Omega, you know, top 10 in Georgia. He do be top 10 in Georgia. Exclusively, you know, probably a top 10 Joker too. Um, and he's probably going to be top five this season, actually. So yeah, he's definitely making a name for himself. This really good stuff. In Ouch. Yeah, Ouch. no, no, no. Oh no. Honestly, Cola just. He's just, he's just playing. <laughs> Cola is just. I don't even know what happened. Like, nothing really. I can't really notice anything about his play that looks different. But he's just. He's just getting all the hits where he needs to. And this is. So, this is the moment, right? When you're the person that's trying to upset, like, the top seed, right? You're thinking like, man, I just got downloaded, right? Because I feel like when you're upsetting someone, like, there's always that thought in the back of your mind, like, oh, I'm just lucky, right? I didn't really I deserve it. But I don't think he's doing that right now, though, right? Because he's like, he's playing very, very well still. He's still reading Cola's like defensive options and movement, not letting Cola get that advantage really too bad. Yes, I, that's exactly what I was saying. Like, that's usually the thought that goes through people's mind. But as I was about to say, like, Omega is just such a composed player. I mean, just look at him. Oh, but shakes his head. I don't know about that. He's, you know what? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to weave a storyline here, but we have a little bit of not having you. We do a little trolling here. We, we do. We have a, we have a certain uh, friend that starts with an A. Uh oh. Oh. Colin's just dominating the ledge right now. Oh my oh, god. I mean, sometimes you know. You just aggress in the right way, and I think Cole just finally picked up to to Omega's habits. Well, like Omega, it, it, it hardly even feels like you're able to press a button right now. That's Omega, right? <laughs> that was such a cute micro spacing. Oh my god, that was adorable. What the little walk up? Like if you if you watch back and analyze the set, you could be like, oh my god, you could have done this here, done could have done this here. But to make that decision so fast when Cole is so just. Dominant, and that's not. And there you go. Game, game four. Cola takes a three-one. Good stuff to Cola. Oh man, that was a heck of a set. So, uh, well, let's see who we're gonna be rating here now. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, follow me on Pen Smash, and I gotta follow. I gotta plug in that Twitter. But yeah, follow VG Bootcamp on Twitter. Thank you for follow. Uh, thank you for listening to us. Uh, honestly, 404 is the best local in uh, in the country. 404 is definitely they did it. in the country. They did it. They did it.
in the country, baby. It's certainly the most stacked weekly in the world. Wait, we, we, can't, we can't offend the people out of state. We can't. Uh, it's the best. Oh, dude, well, what is it? It's, 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 come here. This come is, here. This is 404. It's not the most stacked weekly in the country. Yeah, this is this 404 is crazy, and every time I cast top eight, honestly, the more I watch these top players, it is insane how just like what goes through their head. Like, anyway, go watch some Tekken, some Atlanta homegrown Tekken See ya. game. You know Kazia. You Yo. know Kazia. Wait, Wait, Call of Duty? I don't know if I can raid that. I already told him we were gonna raid him. That's not. It's fine, it's fine. I got it. We're, we're making punch up anyway. Atlanta Tech and support. <laughs> At least drop him a follow. Maybe a prime sub if you really want to. Uh, if you didn't already use your prime sub here. Thank well, you yeah, thank you. This is, this is Penn. Ah! It's card. And see ya. See ya. Dude, I don't know. I didn't know when to ask you, but like, 